Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome back to more Banjo Tooie. In the last episode, we activated the Dodge Gems minigame in here in Witchy World. In this episode, we're going to take on the minigame. It's pretty much what you expect. Well, sort of. It's actually very similar to the Mayim Kickball tournaments, but except this time. Well, leave our twinklies alone. Oh, really? Let's see you collect 60 points worth of twinklies in 45 seconds. Whack the bear! Okay, so basically, uh, it's just like a regular minigame, except this time you have to avoid getting hit by the... Well, you don't have to avoid it, you just have to go around collect as many as you can, but it's pretty pretty inevitable that you're going to get, you know, uh, as uh, Grunty said, whacked by her minions there, but uh, basically it's pretty much just uh, go for the target Twinklies and you'll be good. But yeah, interestingly enough, the Twinklies make an unexpected return for Banjo Kazooie, you know, for his easy peek. That's where they first appear, and now they're suddenly appearing again in the game. Why? I have no idea. I mean, they could have pretty much had anything to be the collectible in this mini game, honestly. Really anything. But yeah, I guess it was most fitting, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Very, very simple. Especially this first time. Not bad. You beat in game one with 66 points. Now try my second challenge. Yeah, as you saw, there were actually three doors inside the Dodge Dome. And so... Basically, you have to play this minigame three times. What's going to be the difference? Well, you'll see. And it will make it more difficult. <laughs> two versus one. Yep, this time we got two minions to deal with. <laughs> Which one is the gas pedal? Oh, God. Let's see you collect 50 points worth of Twinklies in 45 seconds. Whack the bear! Yeah, not only does, uh, well, actually I think she gets more generous with the points, but at the same time you have the, uh, uh, more of these guys to contend with, so, honestly I think the difficulty kind of evens out to being the same, about the same with every minigame. Unlike with the Mayan Kickball tournament where it actually got harder, you know, with each, with each, with each uh, successful, successing, uh, minigame. But yeah, sometimes you will get cornered, but it's not, it doesn't take that long to get out, the out being boxed in, so don't worry about it. It's not, not like you're instantly going to lose as soon as you get boxed in or anything, so it's not that big of a deal. But the best thing you can do is just keep them in the center and, that, and keep on going around them. And honestly, that's the best thing you can do. You don't want to go straight for uh, walls so like I just did there, because that'll often get you boxed in. There you go. Hey, what's this? You've been game two with 63 points, but there's still my third challenge. Yeah, Grunty's dialogue is obviously not as interesting in this game as, as as it was in the previous game. That's one thing that got kind of down downplayed, but oh well. It's still a great game nonetheless. It's a very small price to pay. But yeah, obviously, three versus one here. Oh boy. So we got three of these goons to deal with. You're in for a real ramen this time, pal. Yeah, well, so are you. Not really. Let's see you collect 40 points worth of Twinklies in 45 seconds. Okay, so yeah, I guess she does actually get more uh, difficult with the points, so yeah, it's not that easy, but still. It does get harder, actually. Okay. I'll get that. Alright. I just could have swore that it was 50 points for 45 in 45 seconds, just like in the first mini game, too. I thought, the, I thought the points were the same in the first two mini games. I guess not. Either way, I'm pretty sure I could get the same amount of points in this mini game. Maybe. No, that's kind of iffy. But either way, I'll get, get enough to pass. I think I already did, actually. Yeah, I did. It's. Yeah, it's so very easy. Wait, well, you no, know, I did it. 60 anyways. There you go. No! You beat game 3 with 61 points. I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of prize. That's right. Hand it over, you bony hag. And so, prize we shall get. There it is, our Jiggy. Man, Grunty is so honest and generous in this game. It's weird. Very, very fair, too. I guess it's one thing you gotta give her credit for. She does play fair. So, probably the best villain in any, any video game I've played. But, well, then again, pretty much any... Pretty much most, most villains do it anyways, so that, you know, player has a chance to win, obviously. Alright. So, we're going to, uh, 
What was the next thing I wanted to do? Let's go, go let's go wandering around, I guess we'll find out. Let's see. Oh yeah, we need to we do need to get some food for that kid, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, well he wants burgers though, so we're gonna have to go to uh Al's burgers, so here we go. Fortunately it happens to be right outside Space World, so you don't have to worry about, you know, having to go far to get him. Give me some burgers, Al. Oh, he says the exact same thing. Okay. Totally forgot. You want fries with that? It's like that sound bit in, Sp in SpongeBob SquarePants movie video game. Oh, All right. Now we can go bring some burgers to little Joe here. Ooh, you've got some burgers. Please, 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 can I have one? Will you give me some food? Sure, why not? I got no one. I got nobody else to feed these two. Yummy. Are you okay, kid? You're looking a little er, bold, shall we say? My tummy hurts. Please carry me back to mom. I can't stand up. I'm not surprised. Yeah, yeah, neither am I. Well, unfortunately, this is the one mission you cannot complete your first time in Witchy World, actually. You cannot bring all the kids back because you have this kid over here that you have to somehow carry back to uh, Mrs. Boggy, but you have no way of doing that right now. So, we will unfortunately have to come back with that move later on. But for now, we've got some more work to do. So, we did see... Uh, you know, actually, let's go ahead and go to the Infer Inferno next, because there's stuff to do in there, so might as well, while it's on my mind at this moment. Uh, hello. Gotta stay on Kazooie's feet so we don't get hit by that. Dude, what? It's supposed to, uh, maybe I'm not holding Z uh, hard enough or something. It's an explanation, I guess. Okay. Open sesame. Thank you. I didn't think it worked that easily, but yeah, it did apparently. Did anyone see uh, the third Aladdin movie, the one that was uh, direct to video, the uh, direct to VHS? I mean, it was uh, called Aladdin the Forty Thieves or something like that. That's the movie I think of whenever I hear the phrase "open sesame," because there's actually a scene in that movie that involves that. Oh, eggs! Might as well get these uh, grenade eggs. Yeah, you have to. Whenever you need a certain type of eggs, you have to wait for them to cycle through to that particular egg that you have that you need. So there you go. There's that. We're near our full capacity for eggs, anyways, right now. Okay, so um, you're actually gonna need Banjo Kazooie to split up to do his mission here. So we're gonna do just that. I think uh, actually also one of the kids is out here, isn't it? I'm pretty sure one of the kids is out here. I could have swore. He's not over there. Yeah, totally. That's one. Of, that's one of Boggy's kids right there. That evil villain right over there at Minion. I could have swore there was a kid in here. I guess not. Huh? Yeah, I guess not. All right. Uh. So we're gonna go ahead and do this mission real quick. We're gonna sw split up Banjo and Kazooie, and then as Banjo, we're gonna have to go over here. And step on this pad. Now notice how there is a there are there's split magic on it, and the reason why is because you have to you need Banjo to stand on this pad, because what's going to do is it's going to make a, a shock jump pad appear at the top of the of the spiral slide, and it's only going to be there as long as as long as somebody's standing on that switch, and you need that in order to get up to the jiggy. So obviously, in order to do this mission, you have to be just Kazooie alone. So, let's uh, get ourselves ready here. Now, uh, you can if you want to. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and get these uh, speed shoes on. Or talent trot shoes, as they're called. No, actually, no, they're not called talent trot shoes. They're called... Uh, well, the game actually has a name, a different name for them than uh, Banjo Kazooie does, actually. They're called something like, different in this game than they are in the first game. Um, I think they're called the like, Turbo... Turbo Trainers or something like that. I think that's actually what they're called. Um, but yeah, you have to avoid uh, dying, obviously, on the way up. But yeah, once you... Oh, God! Oh, jeez. Jeez. Yeah, you 
go really fast, so you gotta be careful. But anyways, like I said before, as Kazooie alone, shock jump pads will get you much higher up. And as a result, there you go. There's your Jiggy. And that is 30 Jiggies right there. And now, here's something more interesting. When you die as one of the characters separately, what it's gonna do is it's gonna warp you. You'll start, you, you will respawn actually at the last uh, split pads you used. So it's actually faster for me to die as Kazooie right now. So I'm going to take a leap of faith. Aw, oh, poor Kazooie. He died a fiery fate. And just like that, we're right back here at the, sp at the split up pads. Is there no end to the benefits of dying this game? I don't think so. Alright, so... Let's see. So we've done everything that Mumbo needs to do. We have uh, done everything that there is to do in the Inferno in general, actually. And we've done everything in the train station, I'm pretty sure, right? Did we? I guess we did. I remember one of the children was inside the, the prison. That's where one of them was. And then there was one inside the... You know, one over by... What's it called? Uh, over by the Dodger Domes, that was the one that we couldn't, that we can't bring back to Boggy's children, or back to Mrs. Boggy. But there is still one other kid out there that we can take care of, and I don't know where she is. I know it's, I know it's a uh, daughter actually. Um, and you're supposed to bring fries over to her, so we're gonna go ahead and get Salty Joe's fries again. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna need that in order to get this kid out where she is. Uh, but first of all, first of all, we need to get fries, obviously. Because we do want fries with that. There we go. Hello. Hey, give me some jo give me some fries, Joe. I knew he would say that. Yep, me too. Uh, best of friends over It's Black Friday. Yes, be right for that. Right for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, Black Friday only sucks for retail workers, not ne not necessarily fast food food workers. At least not that I would imagine. I could be wrong. I could easily be wrong, but I can't imagine it sucking that much for fast food workers. No siri. I guess the fact that people are out more, there are a lot more people that are out. I guess that could, uh, that could suck a lot, especially because you're working on Black for, uh, Thanksgiving too, especially if you are. Oh crap, dude! Seriously. I know most McDonald's I've been to are open on Christmas, that's for sure. Okay, so we've done everything in the space zone. Uh, that's right, I was gonna go, I was gonna go back to the Inferno. Dude! Oh my god, I'm just getting so sidetracked. Everywhere. Everywhere I go, I get sidetracked. It's so annoying. Oh, dude! Actually, no, speaking of being sidetracked, let's uh, go back to the world entrance real quick. Because this is another thing I forgot to take care of. And that is the last 10 notes of this world, actually. Are on top of the of this electric pole here. This electric poles. So in order to get up there, we have to find another way up there. By doing this. By climbing up this uh, lamp here. This gigantic lamp. That eagles usually nest on top of. Typically in the real world, actually. No, 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 no. We gotta do your jump right, dude. Seriously? Let's try that again. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's get those notes. Oh, dude, seriously? The whole time there's a shock jump pad there? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I am very stupid. I apologize, folks. Okay, let's take a look at our totals here real quick. 8 out of 10 Jiggies, uh, 5 out of 5 Jinchos, 3 out of 3 uh, Jam Jars, and all extra Honeycomb pieces. So we are set actually to fight the boss because, uh, well, or except for whatever the thing is in the big top tent, but uh, yeah, we'll get into that next episode. But for now, let's, uh, let's go find that, that third kid because I really want to do that. I'd really like to know where that kid is because uh, it's kind of bothering me since I, I feel like I've been to every area in this entire world and I haven't seen him seen her yet. 
let's try... That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna try the Inferno. Let's try the train station. No, she's not here either, because normally she'd be, she'd be right here, actually. Maybe it's possible I already got her. It is possible, actually. I don't know, though. I really don't know. All I remember is that I remember, I remember hitting that one kid with the, with the fire egg inside the prison cell, so he can't possibly be there. Someone wants to do. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to assume for now that I already got the kid and I just totally forgot about it. So, um, anyways, next time Banjo 2 we will go inside the big tent and then at some point we'll fight the boss. Alright, so see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.